tell you the comments that I get from Sisters International, this business. These comments are so bad that most of the time YouTube blocks them. And I have to go to the uh, blocked videos, the videos that are held for review. I have to go to there to get the, the comments, okay? So I'm sorry, I meant to say comments. So I want y'all to see this, okay? What I have to do to see their comments. And then they will do paste the same, you know, um, offensive comment that YouTube uh, says uh, violates their guidelines. They'll paste this same comment over and over and over again throughout my channel, you know, and they, they're a business that they want us to take serious. Okay, so check this out, y'all. So this is what I got to do. I got to go to help for review and apply. And look who you see, Sisters International. Look, nobody but them. This is how silly they are. This is a business, as she says. What, what serious business does this? Now, I'm going to read you. Look at that. Some of them, they've deleted them because, you know, they've been on here for so long. So let's read this one. It says, this is all fabricated S-H-I-T. The business just said that. Sisters International is an open group and have many women from the U.S. So why are you still trying to create, they're trying to say, division? Division in a country you can't even afford to visit more than two weeks with your fake husband, we all know he doesn't exist. They said don't, but it doesn't exist. People. <laughs> Let me continue. You and your fake accounts are so sad. This is what this business is writing to me on my channel. And YouTube found it so offensive that they blocked it. Let me continue. You and your fake accounts are so sad. Anyone who believes this mess is in your own head or you're paying them to lick your ASS. Wow. I just don't do businesses with businesses that talk like this. I don't know any businesses that talk like this. I don't know any professional people who talk like this when they're conducting business. Someone is truly playing you like a fiddle as you have taken bits from all over the media and said it's all from the Sisters International Group. Who really believes this crap? This is how you know it came from them. Because this is somewhat true. This stuff, this stuff did not come from all over social media. It came from two private groups. Sisters International's Inner Circle and this European group, which does not mean it's just all white women. It's Europeans. Europe is a continent, people. And this European group called Scammers in the Gambia. And they're private groups. So I can assure you their information is not posted all over social media. And I don't have time to look all over social media. This information was sent to me, ma'am, by a member of their organization. Both of those organizations. So I think that these people have double memberships in these groups. You know, I think that's what they do. They join multiple private groups and share their multiple private information. That's what I think is going on. So let's continue. My control, indeed. Is this what you're trying to do? You need to be reported spreading all this fabricated fake rubbish and using your fake YouTube accounts to agree and comment with yourself we all see you yeah who does that they do 
they do. Because no normal person will create a YouTube account and have a conversation with themselves unless they're mentally unstable. Now, this is coming from a business, okay? I swear you need to see a shrink because you are crazy. This is what this business is saying about me because I'm daring to question them about what they know about three women who have passed away in the Gambia and who were members of their association. So because I'm questioning everything, I need to see a shrink because I'm crazy. According to Sisters International, the business. Leave Gambia alone and go back to Nigeria. Oh, we forgot. Nigeria doesn't want you. Well, go to H-E-L-L then. Are y'all serious? This is what these business people are saying to me on my business channel. So let me finish. We know we all know Veronica did not like you and you have no friends in the Gambia. This is why you are bitter and jealous. So go find something else to spend your boring life on. Your life must be so sad for real. No ma'am. Your life must be so sad when you still live off likes and friendships. How sad is your life? Remember, you got your self-esteem from V, the leader of the Goofy Girl Group. That's where you got your self-esteem from. So ma'am, before you try to check me, you need to check yourself. Now let's continue. These poor K-I-D-S in your S-C-H-O-O-L to be having you as a nasty Decayed T E H C E R. All you can T E A C H them is to bully people and spread false rumors on social media for a bit of attention. What's up? Did mommy not give you enough love when you were little? <laughs> Listen to that. Listen, this is the lady who's over 50 and sickly and is telling the world, I get my self-esteem from the leader of Sisters International. I was nothing until I met her. And you're trying to sling insults my way? Let's continue. Now this will probably get deleted as you delete anyone's comment that don't agree with any way. With any way. She's trying to say with you anyway. Thanks for mine and V's picture. It's a nice one. Well, in, well, anyway, no more from us. We will not waste any more time or energy on someone as sick and delusional. Bye. But as you see, they continue to comment. Look at all this. They continued to comment and sling their little insults. And y'all, this is the lady who looked like she got some kind of kidney disease. If I was her, I wouldn't be talking about anybody, especially Kiki Loves Nigeria. I would be sitting down trying to get my life right. Now let's continue with these uh, insults and these receipts from Sisters International. So let's read their other um, comment that they plastered all over my YouTube channel. So when I told them I was a member of the group, yeah, they went after anybody in that group who had an African-American, what they thought was an African-American sounding name. So one of the people that they went after was a lady named LaShawn, okay? So they think that LaShawn was Kiki Loves Nigeria, so they uh, came on my channel calling me LaShawn. 
people who know me know my real name is not LaShawn. And um, I don't use fake accounts. Uh, I don't have to. I'm Kiki Loves Nigeria. <laughs> I'm known for telling the truth. So I don't I don't do lies. So let's let's see what she says. She says, LaShawn, this is all fabricated rubbish. Sisters International is an open group and we have many women from the U.S. So why are you still trying to create division in a country you can't even afford to visit more than two weeks with your fake husband who, I'm sorry, we all know who doesn't exist. So they're obsessed with that, y'all. Because y'all see, this is the second time they done said that. So this is what they're really mad about. Because <laughs> don't nobody want a wife then. <laughs> you and your fake accounts are so sad. Anyone who believes this mess is in your head or you are paying them to lick your ASS. Remember they said that in the last message. Someone is truly playing you like a fiddle as you have taken bits. This is the stuff they said in the other message, y'all. So I'm going to skip that. So some of this, they repeated the mind control indeed. Listen to this, y'all. Mind control indeed. LaShawn, is this what you're trying to do with your witchcraft? See? You need to be reported for spreading this fabricated rubbish. This is just repeating the same old thing. LaShawn, many brothers and sisters in and outside in and outside of the Gambia, listen y'all, are not happy with your constant bully of repats in Africa. I swear you need to see a shrink because you are crazy. LaShawn, leave Gambia alone. So that's the same thing about go back to Nigeria. We all know Veronica didn't like you. Same thing. Poor kids. Same thing. Uh, same thing. So this is pretty much... You keep putting mine and Veronica... Mine and V's pictures in your videos. I think you love us. Are jealous and obsessed with us. This is still the sick lady talking. Man, sick lady, if I was you, I wouldn't be talking. I'd be sitting down trying to heal. Not on here trying to pick a war with Kiki Loves Nigeria. I would not be waging these insults her way. I just would not be doing that. Sick or not, I just wouldn't. Like you've been jealous and obsessed for years with others in the Gambia. Jealous and obsessed of what? You guys, you know, they always want to say somebody's jealous and obsessed, but they can't tell you why. Why would that person be jealous and obsessed with me? That's the first question you got to ask. I'm jealous and obsessed because you're sick and I'm not. I'm jealous and obsessed because you look like you're not healthy and I don't. What exactly am I jealous and obsessed with? That you're over there, single, lonely, brokenhearted, looking for a woman to, to, to fulfill your life, to give you self-esteem? I'm jealous and obsessed with that? Come on, ladies. That's what you call yourself. Make this make sense. Exactly what am I jealous of? One plus one has to equal two. Or it's all in your head. Now let's finish the hate videos that you have been created. I don't know what that means. For the years are just sinful. Just let people see the truth and leave people's and they post up. We will not waste any more time or energy. Someone is sick and delusional. You're sick and you're delusional, lady. I don't hide your post. I don't delete your post. As you see, your stalking post has been deleted and hid by YouTube. As you can see at the top of this post, it says held for review. YouTube automatically does this. My name is not LaShawn. I don't create fake profiles. I don't do any of this. Ma'am, you are the one who are sick and delusional. 
But this is another one of my receipts of the mental capacity of this business that you are dealing with. This is the same stuff. Yeah, this is the same. They just changed a little bit of it. Uh, this is Will. Yeah. This will be their last comment. Same thing about their picture. So they just basically have like a, a standard little comment that they paste on my page. And they go through and change it to make it seem like there's more people commenting when it's just them. What they said I was doing. Here's proof that they're doing the same thing. All right, so that's uh, the third receipt of the comments that they send to me, this business sends to me that are so uh, inflammatory that YouTube blocks them because you can't say that stuff on YouTube. And as you see right here, here's the business logo. And they want us to take them seriously. All right, let's finish. A receipt that debunks their argument that uh, Veronica had asthma and Veronica was um, sickly and that Veronica was, uh, you know, in an, the intensive care unit. Someone actually said she had an asthma attack that was so bad she was in the intensive care unit. But my question is, who paid for that? You can't just go to the intensive care unit. You got to pay up front for that. And I didn't know Gambia had an intensive care unit. I didn't know that. She never even mentioned. She mentioned that she was sick and that she felt like she was dying and food poisoning people in Africa. Cause I've been food. I've had that food poisoning. I think it was more of water though. I think I drank the water that will make you sick and make you feel like you're about to leave this world. Okay. So I know what she's talking about when she's talking about being, you know, eating food that's not healthy or food that's not clean. So let's uh, read what she says, says caused her sickness in the Gambia. Three years ago, I started Safe Foods in the Gambia campaign because I got food poisoning seven times from restaurants. Because of the efforts of many people here in the Gambia, the supermarkets and many supermarkets have begun changing the way they sell us food. So there's, she's telling them that the expired foods are now on sale. Frozen foods that have been defrosted due to power outages are no longer being sold. And many of the markets have replaced their freezers. And then she names this one store that, you know, she's saying don't shop there. But, you know, no time. And she says that she's going to start selling safe foods at her home. But not one time does she say that she had asthma, you know, her asthma, unclean air. Why didn't she go on a fight for that if she had asthma? Why didn't she go on a fight for pollution, air pollution? Why didn't she talk about that? If she had asthma, to me, that that was a priority to her because of her asthma, of her not being able to breathe. And the air in the Gambia is really bad. It's really bad. So this is a receipt that says she was talking about food poisoning, people. Food poisoning. What I found remarkable about this uh, post is that this post, again, was inside the inner circle of the secret girl group. Why wasn't this post released to the public? Why didn't she tell us not to eat at the restaurants? Because you can get poisoned. Because she's been poisoned seven times. Why didn't she make a video telling us, don't eat at those restaurants. Don't eat at the restaurant. She said, don't eat at, don't shop at those stores. She told us don't shop at the Lebanon stores or those Lebanon people who own those stores. She told us not to shop at King's Bakery, but not one time did she tell us, don't eat at the restaurants. She said, I got sick from eating at the restaurants, people, from restaurants, not food from the grocery stores. So why didn't she go after the restaurants? That doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense to me. We see Sisters International made a video about um, somebody who was beaten and robbed and hospitalized in the Gambia, right? But look, if there's supposed to be this, if there's supposed to be this consulting group to help women transition 
to Africa, to the Gambia. Why would they make this video for this video be public? Because it was public at one time, but then they changed it. The member of the group told me, who forwarded me this video, told me that this video was public at one time, and then they made it private. It said, this is the discussion we had last year about women's safety when Mariama was attacked. Please don't feel that the whole Gambia is unsafe because it is a few, a minority few. Now, this is when I started noticing she's trying to play down to the public the safety issue in the Gambia. And like I said, look what happens when we click on the video. Members only. You got to pay to see this video. Now, if this is truly a sister group, if this group, is tr this business is truly out here to help us, why would something so important as being a woman who is beaten and robbed and hospitalized, why is that for members who pay? Why? If you're truly, if this group is truly there to assist us in repatriating and, re and visiting the Gambia, why are we paying them to learn how to stay safe in the Gambia? See, that makes me think that Sisters International is withholding information about the safety of single women traveling to the Gambia. Now listen to this one. I have been coming here for a very long time, but feel the need to let you know what happened to me yesterday. Now, you know this is a private group. This is not posted all over social media, media like the sick sister international lady wanted us to believe. The one that looks sick, her, the one that's posting all this stuff on my channel, her. Remember, she said, I'm getting this from social media. No, as you see, y'all, these messages are forwarded to me. So listen, she said, uh, I walk the beach every day at different times and know a lot of locals on the beach. I was walking back towards Senegambia at around 10.15 by the stretch of beach next to the monkey park. Two guys passed me, but then turned and followed me. There was one nearby. I'm sorry, there was no one nearby. One was behind me, one on my side. I was carrying my cap and my flip-flops and my phone. The one behind me tried to grab my phone, but I did not let him and he ran off. The other guy continued to follow me and then slapped me around my face and grabbed my phone and ran off. The juice boys by Swiss Tavern walked me back to Senegambia. My friend then took me to the police station. Two hours to fill in a form and get a reference number for my insurance. My advice, if walking alone, be careful. Do not take valuables. As the police said, every day this is happening. I am a strong person, so I will not, so it will not, she's trying to say not, deter me from returning. But I feel sad that someone coming for the first time would have this happen to them. I have never had a negative experience and it is hard enough without this kind of thing happening. Why didn't Sisters International make a video about this? Why didn't Veronica make a video about this? Why didn't Black Acres of the Gambia make a video about this? They're all in this secret circle group. Cynthia's a member. They're all members. Why didn't they let us know about this? Why are they withholding information 
about our safety and our security in the Gambia? Why is this business who consults women withholding information about their safety in the Gambia? Again, this video was forwarded. It was leaked by a member of the inner circle who is tired of seeing this happen. So here's another one. Might seem nighttime is dangerous, yet I met a small boy yesterday inside my kitchen stealing things during two o'clock prayers. He attacked me with the sharpest kitchen knife. I have many minor cuts and one deep head wound that needs stitches. Be careful. Why didn't they tell us that? Why didn't anybody think enough of us to warn us about what's really going on in the Gambia? Only person warning us about what's going on in the Gambia is the U.S. government. They're the only people sounding the alarm. These people on ground. These people supposed to be looking out. Sisters International, they're lying to us. Here's proof, and they know what's going on. This information is coming from them. This was in their private group. Let's finish. Another one. As women, please be careful out here. Sometimes our guards are down because we feel so free, but crime is everywhere. If you do have expensive things like phones and laptops, etc., please do not walk around with them on show. Also, have alarms and pepper spray or something to protect yourself in case of an attack. This incident happened to a guy on Sunday. Just reporting yet another incident here. I was mugged during the early hours of the Sunday morning by three young men with knives, 50 meters from my home in Kaloli. They cut my hand and stole my bag, my laptop, and iPad. I chased them, but couldn't help, but I couldn't keep up with them. I'm following up with the police, and I am tracking my laptop. It appears to be in Saracunda Black Market. The anti-crimes units have been very helpful so far. I think I was targeted because I'm known in the area and I am pretty sure that the three men were in their 20s were Gambian. This is the th third time I have been mugged in the last three months. They were all coordinated and attacked me at the same time from three sides. Lack of CCTV and any community policing in the area is limiting any ability to identify these people. I know that I am one of the increasing number of people to be attacked, Gambian tourists and expats. I have no idea if these guys are drugged and was surprised that they didn't stab me when they tried to take my phone and wallet as well, which I refused to give them. I'm aware that another group of men were arrested the same night for the same thing in the same area. I don't need to be reminded people to be careful but I do wish that the local community would start police, policing these themselves. The police have limited resources. These guys are local and they are known. The damage that they are doing to the Gambia as a whole, including tourism, is becoming irreparable. Why didn't they tell us about this, people? Another receipt that the Gambia is not safe. And Sisters International know. They know and they've known. But they steady tell you to come. And they call people like me who tell you the truth crazy. And they try to poison your mind against me. 
and make you believe that it's safe till you get there. And look what happened to Veronica. Look what happened to um, Audrey. Look what happened to Beverly. Three members of Sisters International. I produced the receipts. All right, so let's talk about it. Are they holding information about the safety of the Gambia from the repack community so they can make money? This is my opinion. Done. Here's another one. Armed robbers have attacked and caused severe injury to Dutch couples in the weekend and took away the 8,000 euros with 40,000 Delasi cash in their apartment in Kaloli. Speaking in, I'm sorry, speaking to the BNN about the incident, a neighbor, M.L. Camera, said that the holiday, Holland, Hollandese couple were attacked by unidentified armed robbers early Saturday morning during around 4 a.m. in their apartment in Kaloli and forcefully took their 8,000 euro and 40,000 delasi before inflicting severe injury on their hands and the legs of the couples. The couples have started crying for help before the neighbor intervened and took the couple to the nearest hospital and reported the incident to TSU headquarters in the tourism development area, said Mr. Kamar. According to another neighbor, these couples have been coming to the Gambia for many years as tourists before establishing a charitable foundation in which they continue to help schools in needy and needy communities. According to the couples who are recuperating from their injuries, they stop all their charitable works in the Gambia, but will also campaign negatively, negatively to discourage other Dutch for, from carrying their works since their lives can be in danger. So let me clear this up for you. Let me say it with that what they're saying. There will no longer this couple said they will no longer raise money for the Gambia. They will no longer have a, a NGO in the Gambia. They will no longer do charitable works in the Gambia. And on top of that, they're going to camp- campaign negatively to stop any other Dutch people from coming there to do charitable work because it is not safe in the Gambia. But Sisters International refused to release this information to their members. Dutch philanthropists from carrying out the works since their lives can be in danger. The government has failed when it comes to safety and protection in the Gambia. But nobody is telling the Americans this. All the Americans over there are saying, come on, come on, leave the illusion. Come on, come to the Gambia. And these Dutch people, they said, "Uh uh-uh, don't come over here. Don't set up no charitable organizations. It's not safe. But we're not even warned. This is my receipts video of why I believe that Sisters International was withholding, no, and they still are, withholding information that can keep you safe in the Gambia. They are not telling you the truth. They are not telling whoever is listening to them. They are not telling you the truth. And I have given you receipts that were sent to me, that were leaked to me by a member of their organization who sits and looks them in the face every day and sends me whatever information they think I need. These are the sisters in Sister International. So let's talk about it, y'all. Let's talk about it.